Well, hello, yours truly, Elga here, in a long time. <clears throat> uh, I was recently asked that if I could do a uh, video, a lesson about how to learn uh, songs, how I learn songs, you know, uh, like in general, what it takes to, to, to learn, learn a song, you know, written obviously by someone else than me. So, so, uh, and, and, uh, you know, what it takes to, what was the question? How to be able to learn to play like me? <laughs> well, I'll try to, I'll try to answer, but the way when I, because I've done a lot of uh, cover shows, fill in uh, show, fill in gigs, uh, and you, you name it. So I, I've, uh, sometimes I've needed to learn like, I remember this one occasion I needed to learn a, a set of like 12, of Deep Purple songs in just like you know, one day you know got the call. Hey, can I do this? You know, you know the gig is tomorrow, or was it even? I got the call in the, in the morning and the gig was you know, on the same evening. But anyway, so the the first thing is uh, is uh, you have to figure out uh, what the what the tuning is. Uh, nowadays, I mean, there's a lot of. Uh, tablature sites on the internet ultimate guitarist i think is a pretty good one but uh since most of the other tabs there aren't official uh i uh, my advice is to take them as a uh, kind of guide and not the absolute truth because i have found out when i you know learn songs and check check them out like how this really goes and I've, I've noticed that uh, this some of the stuff is actually correct and some of the stuff is like uh, definitely not correct I mean you know you can hear that if you you know been playing for <clears throat> as many years as myself but anyway let's assume that you don't have a tablet or or anything, so you just to figure out it, it by by your ear. So the first thing is to 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 determine, uh, come up with what 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 is tuning. And the easiest way, especially in, in metal, is to figure out the lowest note. Most of the time, the lowest note is if you know if if a, if a riff goes like. <laughs> Something that you know simple. So okay, you're like okay, this is the not not my guitar is in uh, standard D. So okay, you figure out okay, that's the that's the lowest probably. Okay, maybe you listen the song. If it, does it go any lower? If not, then you, okay. So it's in D. But you know it could be also in uh, drop tuning. Because now this is, this is standard tuning. And the, the way that I, I I usually figure out if if a riff is in du drop tuning, you know, if it goes like at some point this same riff goes an octave higher, so that would suggest that it's played with uh, you know an open string, but uh, octave higher, you know, it's, that's like no. So then it might you it might suggest that okay. Is it in uh, you know drop drop D tuning so that the whole whole guitar is so it isn't you know, like drop uh, it isn't completely tuned to D but maybe it's standard E and the E string is only tuned down for for D like uh, well. I don't have any standard E to guitars at the moment, so let's pretend that I, okay. Okay, let, let's pretend that I figure out that the riff is in C. And then, oh, it goes octave up, so then it's like. Rubbing. That's usually a good way to to figure out if it's in drop tuning and if it has like uh, you know
It's white court. Like, you know, if this would be normal tuning. hard to play so usually you know we guitar players at least myself I'm trying to find the most easy best way to play a certain things and guitar is like you know nice into in that way so you can tune the strings so you know if you're hearing this kind of Lick in your head, you know. It's a lot easier to play it in drop drop tuning. Or if, if the riff has a lot of like like uh, fast uh, five chords, you know, because if it will be not standard. Require a lot of that. So, so yeah. The first thing is is uh, what I do. I always figure out the tuning. Tuning first, and then uh, uh, I'm, 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 when I'm learning a song, I'm trying to see it as as a, as a whole. So I'm not just learning the the guitar part. Like the riff goes like zero ten. But the, the actual key and the notes, you know, okay, I'll figure out this is in, the song is in, in E natural minor. Okay, so then you have those notes that are in, in, in minor. Okay, there might be some, you know, chromatic passing tones, but then you kind of know what are the, the notes and, and the chords. And when you're learning, I try to try to think you know what you're playing instead of just you know numbers and stuff but if it has a you know C alright so you try to have to uh, think of it at least it's for me easier that I understand what's going on instead of just uh, remembering it like just remembering the guitar part or the or the you know the what fret I press. But let's say okay, the first riff goes goes in in uh, you know starts in E, e minor you know. Three. And then yeah, there might be a chromatic passing tone. This isn't actually part of the E minor scale, but then they help you to remember that. Oh yeah, that's the riff that uh, has that one note that's out of scale. Okay, hope you are following. And then, then, then I I, uh, I try to of course remember the uh, the vocal melody. I mean, if it's just like death metal with no or some sort of song or the genre that doesn't have or the vocals doesn't have a melody then it, it makes it uh, harder at least for me to remember because because sometimes when, when I have the melody vocal melody the melody kind of leads me to what chords there are and where the riff is is going and and and, and so on and I mean if it's just like riff based then I guess there's no shortcut, but you just have to remember the riffs. But if it's it's something like, because you know I've I've learned a bunch of top forty songs and they're all quite simple. They usually have the same <laughs> chords, you know. They... Cyber songs has that chord progression. It's just a different 
keys. But but you know, so l try to learn the, the big picture, what the other instruments are doing also. So you're kind of in into that song instead of just focusing your guitar. Because then if and when you're playing the song live and you haven't had time to maybe, you know, rehearse it, maybe just to go through a couple of times. When you have a blank moment, <laughs> at least I have many, when you know the key, you can actually, you can get away like, oh fuck, I don't remember the, the, the chord changes of this part, but hey, this is in E, e minor, I might play. Just play some octaves, you know, kind of go with the vocal melody, then it usually create some kind of harmony and sometimes like hey people are, hey that's a cool thing you play oh thanks it was just because I didn't remember the chords or whatever so uh, th that's 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 good in and also if you know the key you can you, you, you know if you don't remember what the fuck was there you can just maybe play some some feel feels to, to fill in and then when you're on board again you can continue. Uh, but like I said, if, it, if it's really like a riff based then you know you just have to learn the, the, learn the, learn the riff. And sometimes I've noticed the tablatures uh, like uh, some stuff is actually it, it's, it's a lot harder than you uh, it, could, it could be played an uh, easier way. Let's say uh, this kind of lick. See, this is just an example. Of, uh, okay, this is there's three strings. Well, if if it's really fast, you you know, go, okay, what notes? Which note? This is actually a lot easier to play like this. Or this is actually the, the easiest way. Same notes, but you know, just figure out what, what is the, the easiest way. Because some, sometimes I, I, I've noticed that maybe a tablature might just suggest you to play this like... But then you, you figure out, well, it's kind of a lot of string skipping and is there another way? So maybe... Oh yeah, same notes. Same thing, but a lot easier to play with uh, two strings and with that finger. So, don't just uh, follow the, you know, the tablets, tabs like, you know, this is the ultimate truth. But uh, figure out things by yourself. And when you're figuring out things by yourself, you will uh, learn them faster. Because uh, cause, cause then you're kind of like, you know, maybe writing that that riff or that part or that song to suit yourself because you know there's a million ways no not million but several w ways to play exactly the the same things like <laughs> Okay, so well, that's that's basically how how, how uh, I learn songs. So one, uh, find out, figure out the tuning, uh, and that's usually done. You know that you just jam along with the with uh, with the song, and then you know he, you hear if there's like if, it's, if there's a lot of palm muting, uh, and 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 so it usually you know suggests that. In this case, the tuning is the standard. Or so on. And then, 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 uh, you know, understand the, the whole 
thing of the song, what vocals are doing, what bass is doing, uh, what, what, what key is it in. So the music theory is really important, I mean it, it helps a lot. I mean, sometimes if the song has a like, uh, you know, most of the rock and roll blues song, they follow a, a simple one, four, five chords structure. If you don't know what that means, then you're kind of like, I mean, one, one, let's say we're on the key of G. This is the one, one chord, this is the fourth chord, because in the key of, let's say, G minor, major, one, two, three, four, you can see. And then the five chord is one, two, three, four, five, it goes, get this song. Four, one, five, four, one, and so on. And then, then you know, if if you remember that, oh, Johnny B. Gould, that's a one, four, five chord progression in in, in key of A. <laughs> So that helps. So theory, learn your basic theory. It helps a lot if you understand what you are playing and you understand what the band is playing, what the bass is doing, what the drums are doing. So learning the basics. I mean, I know, I know, I can play drums. You know, basic things. Uh, play bass, I can play fairly well. I mean, I, I played on the, the lot of albums. I've actually I, I played bass and along with guitars, so you had to know the, you know, certain bass standard licks and stuff and what to do and what not to do and, 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 and stuff, so it's, so you're not just, you know, doubling the guitar riffs note by note. I mean, sometimes that's effective, but, uh, but yeah, so I guess uh, that was uh, how I, 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 I learned the songs and the solos, you know, if you know that it's, it's, uh, it's in the key of E minor. Well, in this case, we're in the key of E minor because the guitar is in D. And then when you hear it, like, you know. It's kind of leak, you know that, okay, it's it's uh, it's E natural minor. Or, you know, in the case of Kirk Hammett, Kirk Hammett uses mostly uh, Aeolian mode, which is a natural minor mode, so you kind of know the and, and you know, Zach White uses uh, quite a lot of pentatonics. Randy Roll uses quite a lot of. And so on. If you know the theory and modes, you, you can when you hear that certain sound, you know, oh that's Phrygian sound, okay? I'm gonna so it helps you a lot so you're not just like starting on a uh, with a blank paper, but you already know, okay, what's the scale, what's this key that helps a lot by learning the songs. When you you know when you if you don't have a guitar on your hands you can tell that okay that's that's riff is based on pentatonics or lydian mode or whatever mode by the sound and you know those scales i'm talking about please check my other lessons about different modes and scales and how they sound and what's their relations and so on uh and yeah what was the other question to be able to play like me <laughs> well i guess learn the basics you know Alternative picking techniques, a uh, little bit of theory and stuff, and you know, maybe check out the lessons I've done about you know, different techniques and scales and stuff. I, I'm quite a meat and potatoes player, I mostly base my thinking on pentatonic scale, that's five notes, and then if I want to do something else like uh, Phrygian, Mixolydian, Lydian, I'll just add a couple of notes there because the diatonic modes they have seven notes instead of uh, five notes, what a pentatonic scale has. So, real basic stuff and, and, and uh, you know, learn, learn, the, learn the technique. I mean, I, I know how to sweep, pick, how, how to do that stuff, but that's. Uh, I never found sweep picking that useful for me. I really don't 
I mean, it's it's kind of cool sounding, but I, I, that's not, not not me. I've used it occasionally, but uh, I basically I just play with you know, basic stuff. You know, not that hard actually. Okay, hey, hope this was uh, helpful. And if you want me to do some other kind of videos, please you know put on the comments below and and stuff and. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for for more more stuff and and uh, we will announce the next Chira album stuff uh, in the near future. I know it has been taking quite a while because there's been all kinds of uh, negotiations and stuff going on, but uh, finally everything is starting to sort out and and, and uh, we can uh, announce some great and fascinating news. Alright, thanks, take care, bye.